got my bucks from Target.
Not this school. Your name, all that stuff 
is there. I copy and paste very efficient because I'm tired and I'm running out of time and I just need to get stuff out as fast as possible. So I just copy and paste. And then the hashtags are there too. But I try to diversify, diversify the hashtags. So these are my core hashtags, right? Elevate hair, elevate color, team meal. Those are my core ones. Then I add in pink hair, mullet, whatever it is, so I can kind of diversify the hashtags. What's wrong with this caption? It's all I want to do. I want people to stay on the thing longer. That's not what's wrong with it. They're taking longer. Who's my audience? Millennials. <laughs> it's not clients. Do you think a client is a trade audience? <laughs> or hashtag a beta congress me? No. This is made for a hairdresser. This is made for clients. Right? So the story is the same, but then when I go to the formula, it's in a client language. You have to think about when you write a caption, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Why do you want to read a caption? Right? To get this look, we did a quick blow dry with the beta speed of light and a paddle brush. Does that make sense to a client? Okay, okay cool. Then we sprayed air control, wrapped two inch sections of hair around uh, my Elevate Air Remix iron. Out this one. Uh, and then uh, for Beachy, toss a look. Right? <coughs> so I'm giving her the tools paddle brush, Elevate Air Remix iron. Out this one. And um, the product, air control and speed of light. Those are all client friendly languages. Then when I go to the question, do you have any friends? Three friends who want to ship a spray, tag three people you think might look great for this haircut. Right? So I'm asking clients to share with their friends this haircut. So your language really matters. Quick, quick note on hashtags or take a photo. This is local hashtags and location tags. So she's tagging hashtag garden, which is the rich part. So what's your neighborhood you're working with? Right? What are the hashtags? What are the consumer tags? Like what is the more safe the hashtag to use? Sometimes we overthink about, oh, what hair really is, right? So if you do hashtag elevate hair, the odds are I want you to tag elevate hair. I hate that. I say this every time, but the odds are your clients don't follow elevate hair or hair brand. They follow both. They follow influencers that you know about. That's who you want to tag. Um, and we went through the exercise on how to do a location tag. That's so important. So like they know where your salon is, they're following your page. Karen tagged the apartment construction next door, or the hotel next door. So when people are looking at those photos, they go, that's a great haircut. So well, who did that? I should go see the other part down the street. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Right? So get out of your location and go to other locations. Much like I had to go to the coffee shop next door, you can go to the coffee shop next door digitally just by doing a location tag. And the coffee shop really should like that anyway. Because I'm introducing my clients to your coffee shop. My clients like coffee too. I had someone complain about a juice bar. She tagged a juice bar and they're like, don't promote uh, your juice too. So they might want to go to your place. Okay, honest, that person's not, you know, that's Jane Doe. Yeah. I'm going to take a picture. Um, any questions on hashtags? Hashtags. Why? Yes. I have a really hard time with hashtags. So I'll get through my whole entire post and I'll be the last. Okay. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. What are you talking about? That? Where are you? Where are you stuck? Is it? What hashtags are they? Right. But there's always a shadow, right? So what you want to do is you want to try to get her closer to the wall. Right. And then you want to move this close. Notice that ring here? See it? Yeah. See how it goes away. Okay? I see a lot of this. You actually want to increase this so it's slightly above her head and angled slightly down. So if we look at this ring light, see how it's kind of just slightly down? Watch what happens with the shadow when I move it slightly up. See how it casts it more? If I bring it down a little bit, it actually brings the shadow down to you. The light's coming down. Slow it down. 
to lift this up just a little bit. Drop this hand. Now 
the angle is kind of crazy and there's zero to none zero to none um lighting but i just wanted to come on and end this video i'm cooking my steak right now and i'm actually recording this on my ipad so the quality is trash i sorry no sorry but yeah go ahead and end the vlog here i'm actually well i actually was on the phone with bae so and when i get through i'm gonna get back on the phone with him so yeah so i um my test that i was telling you guys about i passed it with a 96 and yeah i just got through eating some ice cream so yeah so i'm just waiting on my steak to get done and then i will uh, eat take my shower and go to bed so yeah hold on babe so if you like this video thumbs up comment in the comment section um, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. Also, subscribe to my channel. And there's always my playlist up in the cards up above. So, definitely check that out if you want to check out the other Vlogmas videos. And also, they're in the description bar as well. Okay? So, yeah. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Enjoy the rest of your night. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.